You're listening to the 40 Thrive Podcast, the show created for women 40 and beyond, ready to shake things up. And now, your host, Jackie McDougall. Welcome to another episode of 40 Thrive. As we approach Mother's Day 2020, I wanted to take the opportunity to talk with three of the most important humans in my life, my sons. As a family, we have been through a lot over the years. Health issues, special needs, adoption challenges are just a few. I don't want to dive too far into any of it out of respect for their privacy. Also, I call each of my kids by their first initial per the request of one of my kiddos. Speaking of privacy, I asked the ladies in the 40 Thrive community if they could ask their kids one question that maybe they're a little afraid to learn the answer to. What question would it be? From sex to drugs to parenting mistakes, the community stepped up and certainly has some questions for their kids. And while you may not be ready to ask those scary questions, this time together could be a perfect opportunity to connect in a new way. Grab a phone or a recording device and ask them some questions about you. Tell them about you. See how you're alike and you're different. Whatever happens here on out, we will never get this time back. What a gift it could be to you, to your kids, and future generations to learn more about you and who you were in this ever-changing world at this time. So take a listen and then go do this for yourself. Now before we jump in, this Mother's Day episode of 40 Thrive is supported by the Mom's Meditation Bundle from Women's Meditation Network. This special bundle of meditations will calm and center you during the most exciting, the most mundane, and the most stressful moments of motherhood. With meditations like no more mom guilt, when you're burnt out, and after the kids go to sleep, this bundle includes journal prompts, affirmations, and so much more. Give yourself the gift of peace this Mother's Day, plus it makes an amazing last minute gift for a mom you love and it's only 10 bucks visit 40thrive.com forward slash episode 69 to learn more and get your mom's meditation bundle and now my conversation with a b and c my three sons here we are welcome back to another episode of 40 thrive so mother's day is coming up we're all quarantined, but yet celebrating. And so in order to commemorate this very different Mother's Day, I have invited three special guests on to discuss me. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) Well, sort of. Hello, my sons, my three sons. Hi. 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 So we've got A, who is 13. B, who is 14. Hello there. And C, who is 15, almost 16 this month. And so I really appreciate your being here. So as a podcaster, one of the things I do not do is make my guests work too hard. So I never ask this question. But as a mom, I like to give you a hard time. So C, tell us a little about you. I don't want to. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? No, no quick fact? No quick fact. All right. Uh, B. I am a human organism mm. who lives in this house. Fantastic. Yeah. And you are a Star Wars fan. Yes. Video game connoisseur. Yes. <laughs> and enjoys Connoisseur. being left alone to play electronics with your friends. A. Um, I'm more social. Well, yes. Well, I am social and... I like to hang out with my friends, but since I can't do that, I've been binge watching many movies on Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. And you also like to get outside and be adventurous, ride a skateboard, things like that. Yeah. You go a little crazy if you're just inside all day. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that about you. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of a lightning round. I'm going to ask some questions about me because I not only, you know, is this a little bit self-serving, it does feel self-serving, but I think it's kind of cool how many moms out there don't actually ask their kids any questions about them. So we have this recording for many, many years to come. And I encourage you to like pull out your iPhone or, you know, your, your, your droid or whatever it is that you record on and ask your kids some questions because it's really fun to commemorate 
not only this time of their lives, but this time in the world. And so here we go. I'm just going to say the questions and then you guys jump in as you feel inspired to do so. And, you know, let's have some fun. What's something I always say? Uh, Dinner. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Dinner. (laughs) Yeah. What else? I want three answers. Lunch. (laughs) Today's going to be a family day. Yeah. I say that a lot. Today's going to be a family day. How does that make you Today we're going to go on a hike. (laughs) I do love my hikes. Guys, time for a walk. (laughs) (laughs) Someday you'll be like, oh, I wish mom would bug me to go on a hike. Will I though? (laughs) Maybe not. All right. What makes me happy? Your family. A lot of things. Yeah, can you give me a couple? Oopsie boy makes you happy. What's oh oopsie boy? Is that dad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys give dad such a hard time. Oh yes, my gosh. We, do. we should do this for Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie boy makes me happy. What else? Um spending time with your family. Yeah, for sure. And and like going on hikes. Yeah. I like unplugging. It's true. And like spending time together. Yeah, you like doing that. Yeah. What do I do for a living? What's my job? You're a podcaster. You're a podcaster thing. And yeah. you, you inspire people and um, uplift them. <laughs> First of all, thank you. Secondly, is that funny to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just me. He tells me to stop being inspired. Yeah. What do I do for a living? You're a podcaster person. Yeah. I teach podcasting too, right? Yeah. You're also a mom. I am a mom. I don't get money for that, but it is one of my favorite things to do. You get memories. Why? Why? That's a great question. I will get emotional when I think about it, but the fact that we met you all as tiny babies. Tiny baby. Tiny babies. And um, I'm able to support you and love you and give you what you need to help you become hopefully a happy, well-adjusted, productive, purposeful adult. It's really, it's a massive, massive responsibility. And I just, it means a lot to me. It means a lot when I see you see as almost 16 years old, smile and feel joy and feel proud of yourself. Yeah, it comes with an amazing journey with it. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly not easy. But for some reason, I was gifted these three amazing humans. And it's a complete honor to be able to raise you. So that's why. Uh, What's the most embarrassing thing I do? Come on. You know it happens. uh, It kind of feels like whenever you say embarrassed, it more embarrasses yourself now. Because I honestly... When you try to embarrass me, I really don't care at that point. You don't? No. So if I show up when you start high school in the fall and I start show up as a, like dancing outside and like, that's my baby boy in high school. She's going to become the mascot and haunt you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you think they're <laughs> taking applications for the school mascot? <laughs> and I think we're done with this interview. Thank you, everybody. That would be, a, could you imagine? You're going to be a marching band. I'll be at all the high school football games. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If Wouldn't that be out fantastic? There. If anyone's out there, help, please. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have to come to the football games anyway. I am so going to be the mascot. Just you wait. Help oh, you want to know something embarrassing? Um, Maybe when I decide to hang out after school with some of my friends and you call me and it's just like the faces I make when you talk to me, my friends think it's like a weird, awkward conversation and then it makes me feel awkward. Oh. Why are you making faces at your mother? (laughs) I don't know. Speak up, eh? You're a different different person at home than you are with your friends. With your friends, you're like, too cool for school. Never say that again. So what's my favorite thing to do? Walk. Walk. (laughs) Yeah, go and hike. (laughs) You guys keep going back to the family time with the walks and the hikes. Sleep. Yeah, Yeah, I I do enjoy sleeping. Yeah? Uh, Relaxing, I guess, like, to unwind. Yeah. I like to sit outside, too, on my hammock. Right? What do I do when you're not around? What do you think? Like, when you go off to school, what do you think I do all day? Work. Mm. Why didn't I think of that? Work. <laughs> you <Work>. just did. <laughs> <laughs> 
drink yeah. coffee. Yes. Lots and lots of coffee. <laughs> Just coffee? <laughs> Maybe well, wine. Well, <laughs> you dance on counters like the musicals. Oh my gosh, totally. When you guys are not clean. around, I blast music and I dance on counters. <laughs> clean. And drinking wine and coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While working. And clean. <laughs> What's something I am really good at? Cleaning. Make you really? <laughs> yeah. No, wait, yes. <laughs> you usually just make us do it, but still. You're good at cooking. You're good at walking. <laughs> You're good at talking. You're good at podcasting and making us feel upset that we have to get outside of the house. <laughs> You're good at making us laugh and smile and yeah. This is why we had a third child, you know, because he always says the nice things. <laughs> you inspire us. Thanks, man. He's really nice outside of the interview, though. He is. He's, well, what do you say about your little brother all the time? He's too inspiring. <laughs> It's it's like he's giving an MLK speech wherever he goes. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he he's got a lot going on up there. He definitely knows who he is and teaches other people to embrace who they are. Yeah, because I went through a lot um, as a kid and yeah. still am a kid, but you know, <laughs> yeah, as an early kid. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. So you were adopted. Yeah. Yeah, from Taiwan. Yeah. beautiful beautiful country and you I, I came so. to our family at 19 months yes and so you went through more in the first 19 months of your life than a lot of people go through their entire lives yes yes and so what do you think those challenges have done in making you who you are it built more strength it built more like it strengthened me to be more um strong and to hold positions and not to trust a lot i mean just to trust people but to be careful with trusting people not just trust them Mm -hmm. and to just to know that everything's gonna be okay yeah because you've gotten through so much huh super proud of you and everything that you've done everything you do and everything you will do so yes Thank you. If we were cartoon characters, our family, who would each of us be? Just jump in. Dad would be Goofy. <laughs> Dad would totally be Goofy. And you know, Goofy's Oopsie my favorite. Boy. Yeah. I would want to be Darwin from uh, Amazing World of Gumball. You want to be? Uh, because he's he's like really kind and he he just tries not to get in trouble. <laughs> I also see you as Dash from The Incredibles. He's also adopted, Darwin is. Oh, Darwin is too? Because yeah. he's a fish with a family of cats and bunnies. It's, it's complicated. <laughs> yes. What about you, C? Who would, anybody, anybody in the family, who do you see them as a cartoon character? I don't really see them as cartoon characters. No? Nobody? I'd be Mickey Mouse so I can copyright strike anyone. <laughs> so you'd be making all the money? I see B as either Jake from... State Farm. <laughs> nah. yeah. No, Jake. Well, I yes. rock my khakis. <laughs> no, Jake from uh, Adventure Time or, or um, yeah. You have anything to add, C? Or Finn. No. <laughs> All right, so how are we the same? How are you and I the same? Well, we're the same because we're both adopted. We are both adopted, yeah. And we both like adventure. We do love adventure, yes. How are we different, eh? We both have different personalities, and we look at the world differently. Yeah. And kind of like differently, but in the same way, in, in different ways, if that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I wouldn't expect that my three teenage boys would look at the world the same way I do as a 49-year-old woman, so. Also, <laughs> I like to paint art. I like to do art. Yes. I enjoy uh i don't enjoy art mostly because i'm really not great at it and every time i try i get discouraged but we should keep trying because if i'm going to keep teach you to keep trying i should keep trying too right how are we the same and different b we both love our family we both have someone in our family who's uh called oopsie boy (laughs) (laughs) that would be dad yes we don't actually have a lot in common mainly because we're you're in your 40s, you're a woman, and I'm just a poor boy. 
Because <laughs> I'm stuck in this asshole. <laughs> and 14. With asthma. Yeah, I love to see it. Yeah. And what about you, C? Well, we both like sleeping. Mm. We both get really tired of B sometimes. <laughs> And that's all that comes to mind. Dang right. Yeah. Is that that's the same? So what about how are we different? There's a lot of things different about us. Yeah. We are very different people. Yes. Is that okay with you? I suppose I've put up with it for <laughs> 16 years. Do you wish we were more alike? I don't wish anything. Oh, okay. Two more questions. How do you know I love you? I can just feel it. You feed us. You say it a lot. You take care of us. We're not dead. That's a start. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do love you. Each of you, as the unique individuals you are. I and can just feel it. You can. Yes. Fantastic. When we dance together in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Some of my favorite times and of quarantine. You shed a tear. Just one tear. Just one? Just, just a single just tear. Just that one tear. That you shed only one tear. It's more emotional. Yes. <laughs> And so this last question is a two-part question. Oh, I hate what's those your, on English tests. What's your wish? And I know, um, see, you said you don't have any wishes, but what's your wish for yourself? What, what would you like out of your life? I wish nothing. Things are fine the way they are. Are you looking forward to the rest of your life? I have no idea what the future holds for me or anyone else. So I can't say. Hey, what do you wish for yourself? I just wish um, I succeed in life. And in my life, I can help people and change the way they think about life. Because mm -hmm. I've helped a lot of people over it's just being me. And that's what I want to keep doing. And I don't, I just want to help people and make sure that everyone's okay. Yeah, that's a beautiful beautiful statement and it's not your job to make sure that everyone else is okay and I love that you said you help people just by being you so you showing up and knowing who you are and being authentic and being exactly who a is meant to be already is inspiring and helps a lot of people and I'm proud of you for that b what do you wish for you I wish a lot of stuff. Uh, I wish I have a nice family when I grow up. I wish I don't die the first years I'm an adult. Um, there's a lot of things. That you wish for? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you wish for your mom? That you live a happy life. And that we make you happy. Mm. And that we turn everything bad that's happened in the past or in the present we just turn it into all happiness nice we can't take away all the challenges that happen in life right but we can find purpose through them yeah. and we can um, get stronger as a family and as people yeah. and know that it's okay to feel all the things right and yeah. still get up in the morning See, is there anything that you wish for me on this Mother's Day? Yeah. I hope you're happy. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I imagine it does. B, do you have any wishes for me? I wish that you will have a happy life and that everyone will be here for you because you're a good mom. Thanks, baby. I love you. And finally, this is the podcast for 40 Thrive. What the heck is 40 Thrive? What does that mean? You're helping women over 40 start their podcasts. All right. You're thriving. I mean, succeeding, yeah. probably. Um, yeah. I think so. I mean, you guys are succeeding. Listen, you guys are at the beginning of a whole lot of life, even though you've already experienced so much. And some of the things that those who were born maybe in the 60s or 70s or 80s didn't learn really is having purpose and living honestly and you know just being not worrying about what everybody else thinks we lived in a very different time from you and so my job and my my wish for women over 40 is to 
be honest with yourself and live a good life and be authentic and do all the things that maybe you've been putting off because you've been putting out everyone else first. And so I think it's really important to thrive. And so if I can do that with my life, it makes me very happy, you know, and, and soon, one day sooner than you think, you'll all be living your own adult lives. And I just wish thriving for everyone for just being honest and and loving and being uniquely you. Any final words for the listeners? Have a nice day. (laughs) I just want to say before we wrap up, you three are just the loves of my life and I respect you all as the unique individuals you are and that none of you are ordinary dang right (laughs) and I just really honor who you are as different as we may be even when you think I don't see it or appreciate it I am extremely proud of the three of you and I love you very, very much. I love you too. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Mm-mm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>